from our childhood we were told to compare and compete so what i mean by compare and compete is when it comes to even appearing in exams our parents want us to compare and compete or when it comes to any kind of a competition we want to compete with the other person or even when we grow up we want to compare our life with someone else to win over them to get the social status that way we are always comparing and competing with someone so is it a right way of leading life think about it and let's get back to it shortly hi welcome back to oneness today it is day 68 and we will be looking at verse 68 from tao te ching as usual let's observe few seconds of silence all right so now let's get started so the verse 68 is kind of straight forward so i will try to keep it simple and precise to the message the verse begins like this a good soldier is not violent a good soldier who is at war he is not violent what he means by not violent is is always like you know compassionate towards the other person and in fact the war itself is a last resort like you know it is there is no way to come to a solution that is when you go into the war even at war there are right things to do and not the right way to do so we must have seen a lot of example a soldier who is violent he will get into activities which is war crimes and that we seen in lot of wars even at modern age so that's what lotso means is a good soldier is not violent and then a good fighter is not angry a good fighter always maintains his inner composure he doesn't get triggered by the opponent what my mean is we can see in the sports as well it can be football cricket or wrestling or anywhere the one person will try to make the other person angry so that way the person who gets angry he will lose his composure and makes it easy for the other person to win so good fighter never loses his inner composure and that way he doesn't get angry and then a good winner is not vengeful a good winner is doesn't want to take a revenge if he lost in any of those competition before he doesn't go in with a revengeance or kind of a revenge mindset rather he always thinks that there is an opportunity for him to evolve and then be good at that competition and that way he becomes a winner so that what lotso means a good winner is not vengeful then a good employer is humble a good leader or an employer is always humble he always looks for the other people benefit first before putting his agenda towards people and he always stay low he always walks behind allow the other person to lead the way and that is a way of being humble and this is known as a virtue of not striving so here what lotso says is the virtue of not striving is the virtue of non competition we don't see anyone as a competition in this whole world so what i mean is even in a day to day things that we feel the other person as someone as an enemy and then we have to compete and win over instead of seeing this as an enemy or a competition or a competitor see them as a kind of a practice partner so what i mean by a practice partner is the other person is there to challenge you to bring out the best within you so that way the other person is just there to help you achieve your great self and that's what lots of mean is the virtue of non competition instead of seeing the other person as a competition see them as a practice partner and the other way to see this is without a competition who we will compete so that's why the competition is essential however our perspective towards a competitor is nothing but they are not our enemy they are our practice partner then lots of goes on to say this is known as ability to deal with people this since ancient times have been known as an ultimate unity with heaven so what lots of means here is when we practice the way of non competition is nothing but we will see the other person the one we encounter in day to day life as an extension of ourselves he is not someone else he is nothing but our own reflection who just trying to help us to become better 
and also we see them as a kind of a reflection just a constant reminder that we need to improve our own self and that way we see no competition and also we see the oneness which lots of means as a ultimate unity with heaven the way of being so when it comes to a day to day life for you and me that you know if someone is doing better it can it can be at a workplace or it can be at a business or it can be any other social situation instead of seeing them as your enemy send them lot of blessings as much as you can see them as a practice partner always think consider them they are there to bring a best out of you and that is what practicing virtue of non competition and with that we come to an end of verse 68 so one actionable thought for today is take a moment to think about who do you consider as your competition at this point in your life it can be from your workplace or it can be from your business or it can be any other area of your life who do you think as your competition take a mental note of it and now whoever the person who came to your mind send a silent blessing to them it can be a good wish for the other person to be there in your life and helping you to bring a best within you and also when you encounter a person in person literally when you see face to face instead of showing your anger or vengeance or a revenge attitude be friendly and see them as a reflection of you who is there to make you better and that way you will not act from a place of anger or violence or a conflict instead you will be at peace and whether you win or lose irrespective of this you are compassionate and you are showing your own goodness over a period of time your performance also will improve and gives you an opportunity to be a winner with that thought let's conclude day 68 and talk to you tomorrow thank you